Hello dear friends, welcome to our next video. In today's class, we are continuing the previous video that is on plant pathology. We have completed till phytoplasma, we are dealing with the mycoplasma topics that is the organisms that are similar to bacteria and all. And now we shall continue that under mycoplasma we have molecules and rickettsia like organisms and under molecules we have two types of organisms that is one is phytoplasma another one is the spiroplasma. We have completed phytoplasma, we have seen some diseases uh, that was caused by phytoplasma and now we shall deal with the spiroplasma. And I told you till 1967 they were thought these were diseases of virus and later that they came to know and this pyroplasma was identified and discovered by Davis et al in the year 1972 and these cells are this pyroplasma cells are pleomorphic they have uh, many morphological uh, features and in the same way they have the shapes vary from spherical or slightly void around the spherical itself slightly void uh, elliptical and helical and all and these spherical shapes are found in liquid medium when you observe this pyroplasma under liquid medium you will find these shapes if you observe this pyroplasma in a solid medium then you will observe the non-helical structures that is the difference when we observe in a liquid medium and in a solid medium now let's see the locomotory action of this pyroplasma the helical forms uh, that is what we see under uh, liquid medium are motile and they show two types of locomotory movements that is motions one is rapid rotatory or screw type of motion another one is slow undulating motion and okay uh, these phloem affecting prokaryotes all spiroplasmas are phloem affecting uh, prokaryotes and they show these two types of motion that is one is very fast and rapid movements, another one is slow one undulating movements that was shown and all spiroplasmas or phloem affecting one and the best example is citrus stubborn, horse radish brittle root and these two are caused by spiroplasma citri and constant is caused by spiroplasma kunkali. Now you shall see another group of bacteria that is fastidious vascular bacteria. These are rickettsia like organisms and we named them fastidious vascular bacteria that is because these organisms require a specific nutrients in their nutrient medium that is the specificness of the requirement of nutrients is there in these organisms. If the nutrient is present only these organisms will grow. These their growth are very very slow and among them the very first is xylem inhabiting fastidious bacteria we generally call as XIFB this was identified in the year 1973 and in a disease called as Pierce disease of grapes when they were doing studies on that they identified these organisms and these are generally a rod shaped one and very very small and bounded by a ripple layer cell wall and cell membrane these xylem inhabiting fastidious bacteria are nutritionally in the name itself they are fastidious in nature fastidious means they should have a particular nutrient they are very complex in the nutrient medium so if the particular component present in the nutrient medium then only these organisms will grow that is why we call them as fastidious vascular bacteria and they are nutritionally fastidious in nature and there we, they have very complex or particular nutrient requirement and they are usually gram negative but gram positive also arise and they don't have flagella and you know the gram positive one will, know, will not have any vectors only the gram negative one will have vectors the gram negative have vectors such as leaf hoppers, spittle bug which feeds on the xylem of the plant as the xylem inhabitant bacteria, the insects that are feeding on the xylem are the vectors for gram negative one, gram positive don't have vectors. And these transfer through the vectors is very fast, but these are not 
trans ovarian in nature and there are also exists a graft transmission uh, means when you graft the crops these will get transferred especially in the grains grapes the ps disease and there's a sensitive to tetracycline and penicillin these organisms cause the diseases like ps disease of grape phony peach diseases almond leaf scorch plum leaf scald ratoon stunting of sugarcane citrus variegated chlorosis alpha alpha dwarf these are the diseases that were caused by these under fastidious vascular bacteria the second one is the phloem inhabiting fastidious bacteria and in the similar way they have rod shaped cells with a ripple layer cell wall and cell membrane as on xi fb and these are also gram negative and there is no flagella the important symptoms are leaf stunting clubbing shoot proliferations which is from these are the symptoms that were shown by these uh, the diseases caused by these diseases the plant shows these symptoms the diseases such as yellow wine disease of watermelon is caused by this pifb and transmitted by cucurbit squash bug the other similar diseases are citrus graining in china they call them as fang long bing in short form hlb and this was transmitted by as it's a phloem inhabiting one the insects that are transferring are also phloem feeders which feeds on phloem tissues transmitted by psyllids diaphragma citri trisa citri and caused by candidatus labyrinthobacter asiaticus or candidatus labyrinthobacter africanus or candidatus labyrinthobacter americanus there comes the another disease that is bunchy top disease of papaya it is transferred by leaf hopper that is empoesca papayi and the large disease clover club leaf by this i end this video thanks for watching this video please do like share and comment follow me on my instagram time to be intellectual and if you are haven't subscribed if you are watching for the first time please subscribe to this channel for more videos and click on the bell icon to get notified